Alright, I haven't had, really had much time to work on stuff related to my videos, mainly because I've been working on my house. So I've had the kitchen to redo, I don't know if I've mentioned it before. I just redid this room and I still have to build my gun rack for it. Anyways, so while I was cleaning up I found uh, this fancy thing, which all of you know, and even if you don't from the title. It is a mercury switch. This one here came off of a thermostat. One of the old type thermostats that was connected to a coil of wire and as the wire cooled down and heated up it would move the coil which would cause this thing to trip. Anyways, so I took it off and threw away the rest because I'm tired of having a lot of junk in this place and I had to start throwing some stuff out. Anyhow, if you're like me, which I'm guessing at least some people are. Pretty bad way of thinking about society, but anyways. The first time I've ever I was ever introduced to one of these was actually on PBS. There was a show about explosives or something f along those lines and they mentioned some kid who decided to build a bomb of sorts in a toothpaste container or something from what I remember. Anyways, what he did is he stuck it into a garbage can at a local store in the actual garbage can aisle, so basically a Walmart type deal. And some little girl decided to move the garbage can and when she did it blew up the device. And blinded her because the ball bearings that the kid had used or the pellets that he'd used in it, it hit her in the eyes and blinded her. Obviously when the kid found out about this he got all depressed even more than he already was and he decided to kill himself so they found him in his car a little bit later. Anyways, getting on with this, a lot of you guys if you've read those Lose Your Finger books from the 80's that they used to charge an arm and a leg for in the back of gun magazines and martial arts magazines, you know that a few of them mention this fancy switch here. You don't see them very often nowadays because mercury isn't very uh, liked, I guess you would call it, due to its toxicity. Anyways, this is one of those, and I'll show you how it works. And I'll show you, I guess, dispel any of the magical aspects these things have for anyone who's read those books and decided that for some reason they wanted to use one of these as a switch of some sort. First off, you break this and you've got a mercury spill to clean up. And apart from that, it's a very basic if I could get the stupid phone to, there you go. Very basic design. As you see, there's just two wires in the glass bulb along with the mercury. Mercury is conductive, so as soon as it goes over and the two wires, as you see, the black colored one and the other one, now they're both touching the mercury. That just completes the circuit and it goes through the wire. So as I say, still has a few uses in home-built electronics and anti-tampering, I guess, devices for people who want to scare their buddies. Uh, technically, you could rig it so that you could do a few different things. In this case, I'm just going to demonstrate how this thing works quickly because it's just a short video. And I'm going to just connect it in line with a rocket igniter. As you see, I've got the mercury bulb upside down at this point in time, hopefully. So it shouldn't set off my when I connect it. So let's see if I could figure out how to use my breadboard here. Alright. So as you see, the mercury is at the bottom here. We're connected. If I didn't screw up my connections, when I turn the switch, I should get a nice little burning. of the rocket match thing 
And there you go. It's basically as simple as that. And you can see it every time I go back, it lights up because of the power from the battery. And that's the basics of a Mercury switch. As I said, nothing magical. Yep. Sorry, my electronics box seems to be replacing itself. So as I said, nothing magical. Great if you want to set up a little thing to light a rocket off when somebody messes with something or even a small firecracker. Uh, don't obviously use it for what I just mentioned because number one, they're pretty sensitive. So if you are setting it up, you have a good chance of hurting yourself. Second thing is it's completely illegal to do, obviously. But I could leave that with somebody else. And there's more fun things you can do, and there's actual safer switches to use nowadays. This is just, as I said, a fun little showing you how the just showing you how the uh, infamous Mercury switches work. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to hopefully get some of my other ones that I've been working on going. I've been having issues with this camera, so I don't really know if I'll get them all the other videos on time as I want them to be. But, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you, if you're too young to know much about these things. I hope it sort of showed you how they work. Anyways, thanks for watching.